This is One on One. Mr. Ahmed Salama is a math teacher at the Panther Academy in beautiful Patterson, New Jersey. Good to see you. Thank you. Good to see you, too. Now, the Panther Academy stands for Patterson and NASA together for higher expectations and results, right? That's correct. And it's a high school, 200 students, studying uh, Earth and space science. Yes. What's the whole idea behind this? Uh, actually, uh, Panther Academy is granted by NASA in 2003. Uh, and actually, we have planetarium. Uh, we are bright school. We have planetarium, so we have to. So these are smart kids. <sighs> Most of them, yes, of course, all of them. Yes, that's a good thing you clarified that. <laughs> um, and these kids all want to go. They're interested in in science in many ways, right? And this is part of our classroom close-up uh, partnership together with the New Jersey Education Association. And it's one thing to talk about it, but it's another thing to see it. If you know our partnership with the NJA, you also know that we have a video. Um, these are video clips from uh, Classroom Close-Up Series. By the way, do yourself a favor, check out this extraordinary series. They have a whole range of uh, Classroom Close-Up uh, segments you can check out. Have you seen this? Yes. Well, everyone else is going to see it for the first time, all right? Yes. Classroom Close-Up, we'll come back and talk about it after this. This is great stuff, all about education and science. Check it out. Here at the Great Falls in Patterson stands a statue of Alexander Hamilton, one of the founding fathers of our country. It overlooks the majestic view where Hamilton, in 1792, as Secretary of the Treasury, commissioned the construction of factories that used the Great Falls as a source of hydropower. As a result, Patterson became the birthplace of the American Industrial Revolution. Now, uh, I'll let you know how to measure long distance. As you know... 222 years later, Ahmed Salama, a math teacher at the Panther Academy in Patterson, took his students on a class trip to the falls. We can't jump to the bridge, so we could... But they're not here for the history or the view. How to measure the height. Two things we should know. What is that? Two essential things to know to measure the height. Distance and elevation angle. We don't know the distance. We know, yes, the elevation. We could know the elevation angle, but we don't know the distance. So Ahmed and his students brought some measuring tools. Some are common and some not so common, like the hypsometer. It has an inverted protractor that measures the elevation and the depression angles. We have to align the first position with the second position. We are over a perfect distance, which is 60 feet. Try to make it perfect. Can you see the tip of the bridge? Yeah. Theta one is what? Three. Three. And theta two is what? Ten. 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 Mark down this. And then we move back about how many feet? Sixty. Sixty. And we combine some angles to use it for our formula, which is theta one plus two. What's theta one plus two? Today's trip was to show us how we can use check equations and apply it to like real life situations. We can find out the height of something that we can't possibly find, like physically. X is what? 60. 60. So using the formula that we use, we got around um, 77 feet of the falls. I think that it's great that um, we have a teacher that's like really like hands-on and cares about the students and helps them out a lot with like projects like this and is always hands-on and behind us and tells us what to do and always helping us. We don't know the distance between us and the bridge, but we could make it. We need to start from the beginning and teach the kids first how to be sincere to this country, how to be productive, how to be successful. And teacher, even if he use regular board or smart board, is not gonna be effective enough. He should go outside and get involved with community. And our calculation was 77. Wow. How much do you love what you do? 10 exponent 10 like more than a million. <laughs> I'm looking at uh, Amanda we saw and Flavio, and I think to myself, these are young men and women from the Patterson community. Yes. This is not a wealthy, for those watching in the tri-state uh, area where we're seeing, this is not a wealthy community. Right. This is not a suburban community. They don't have all the advantages. 
what is this potentially doing for these two young people and all the others? Uh, we have to take care of the education. We should have high quality of education. This is the only key to solve the problem of urban community. The people struggle to live well over there. So we have to take care of education. This is the key, the key to solve this problem. What's the key? The key is to have high quality of education. We should prepare the kids to be successful, not during the college or school, but after, after, to be successful in their life. But this gets science. You have technology. You have math. You're bringing it all together. And it looks like to me that you expect so much from them. And what do you say to all those who say you can't expect that much from an inner city kid? You say? I had many generations, students already are successful. And one of them, uh, one of my students, her name is Tashira Ball, she's right now is doing doctoral degree in mathematics. A doctoral de degree in math mathematics, one of your students. What is that like for you as an educator? How does that make you feel? I feel good, so good. I can't imagine that. And I'm so proud of her. This is one of my students, and I have many. Many are successful. So these students, how do they pick the Panther Academy? Do their parents pick? Do they pick? How do they wind up there? They came randomly first, <laughs> yes. But this year, we're watching them. We have to like, have exam before and interview. It's like orientation before and then we'll pick them up. So it's more challenging to get in. Right. I'm looking at this, you gave me this. Bob Morris, our great um, Emmy Award winning director. Bob, do me a favor. Could you put up this? You're wearing this on your lapel, you gave this to me. What is this? Uh, this is the art of transforming function. It's the winner button, 2004, the first winner in MTNJ, uh, Association of uh, Mathematics Teacher in New Jersey. This is something to be proud of. Yes, and actually it came from a student. A student was uh, learning a function from me, and he said, oh, function is ugly. I don't get it. I told him, no, functions are beautiful. Functions are beautiful? Yes. Explain that. Yeah. I told him, listen, do you use the graphing calculator? He says, graphing calculator. He learned how to use the graphing calculator. I told him, OK, what is that? This is line. OK, yeah. you grab the line. What is this? This is parabola. And what is this? <laughs> and reflected over. And they came up with this, and he colored it. And he won the first uh, place. And right now, Amazing. he's working as a technology in some company. I, I don't remember. So let me ask you, it's one thing to be in a classroom and to do this work. But you're big on getting out of the classroom, as we saw at the, the Patterson Falls. Why is it so big for you to get your kids out of the classroom? Well, actually, uh, teachers cannot teach among six walls. Among six walls, cannot yeah. do it because? No. It's cage. For teacher, yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, even if you use the smart technology or right. a computer or watch videos, it's not enough. They have to go outside. What happens when you go outside? Uh, kids f first feel good and enthusiastic to do whatever I ask them. Any kind of kids, any kind. Even, you know, who's missing behave sometimes. Oh, oh yeah, I could do it. <laughs> Measure it. Can I describe to the students in the wall what cube is? Cube? Some of them don't imagine. I have to tell them, touch it. Touch it? Yes. Feel it. Measure it. And imagine it. That's it. This is the education. And being at the Great Falls made all the difference? Yes. And the reaction you get from your colleagues, the other teachers, what do they say? What do they do? Uh, they learn a lot from that, actually. And they loved it. They said, well, I haven't seen that before, and it's a new idea. I have presented that at Rutgers University, and, um, and I'm going to present it at Montclair, mm -hmm. too, uh, for like teacher's workshop. You're a role model. Let me just say this. We have been partnering with your colleagues for a long time, and you're a, uh, one of a long line, Ahmed Salama, at Panther Academy, of great educators who come here and inspire us every day. And to know that you are teaching children in this state um, gives us reason to have hope. We're proud of you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Stay right Thank there. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence.
Funding for this edition of One on One with Steve Adubato has been provided by the New Jersey Education Association, Wells Fargo, Robert Wood Johnson University Hospital, MD Advantage, New Jersey Natural Gas, Activists, in cooperation with the American Medicine Chess Challenge, and by the Fidelco Group. Promotional support provided by the Star Ledger, powering NJ.com, and by Commerce Magazine. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.